ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਸਤਿ ਜੀ a very warm welcome to entire sangat to all the attendees in today's talk our topic for today is health and wellness that is related with each and every one's life we all are looking for health in our life no one wants any kind of any illness and we are trying our best to maintain health in our life so today we will talk about and try to understand about health about the type of health and diseases how to be healthy physically and mentally as well and according to gurbani who is a wise physician what are the qualities of wise physician that we will try to understand in today's topic and how can or who is the one who is disease free so everyone is looking for healthy mind healthy body and healthy life so in the light of gurbani according to guru granth sahib ji how can we attain it what are the ways what are the precautions so that we will understand today one basic rule for healthy life is eat wisely and stay healthy most of the doctors are also agreed with this statement they also say most of the time if we fall into any kind of any illness that is because of food guru nanak sahib ji also says baba और खाना खुशी खुआर जित खादे तन पीड़िए मन में चले विकार रहो सो फूड इज वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट एज वेल इन पंजाबी वी डू से मौत नालो भूख बुरी अबाउट हंगर ਮੌਤ ਨਾਲੋਂ ਭੁੱਖ ਬੁਰੀ ਸੋ ਫੂਡ ਇਜ਼ ਨੀਡਡ ਈਵਨ ਵੀ ਕੈਨ ਸੇ ਹੰਗਰ ਇਜ਼ ਆਲਸੋ ਅ ਡਿਸੀਜ਼ ਐਂਡ ਡੈਡਲੀ ਡਿਸੀਜ਼ ਇਫ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਨਾਟ ਏਬਲ ਟੂ ਈਟ ਵੀ ਵਿਲ ਡਾਈ ਥਰਸਟ ਇਜ਼ ਆਲਸੋ ਅ ਡੈਡਲੀ ਡਿਸੀਜ਼ ਇਫ ਵੀ ਡੋਨਟ ਗੈਟ ਵਾਟਰ ਟੂ ਡਰਿੰਕ ਵੀ ਵਿਲ ਡਾਈ देयर ਇਜ਼ ਨੋ ਕੰਡੀਸ਼ਨ we may die we will die without water we will die without food so food and water this is also like a disease we have to eat food for the survival but then guru nanak sahib ji is saying baba hor khana khushi khwar jit khade tan peediye man mein chal hai vikar now it's about hor khana it's not about khana it's not about food it's about hor food once we are full we don't stop eating we are just keep eating even after the food just for the pleasure just because of the taste so then the same food performs like a poison in our body tan pediye there is some pain in our body and it happens maybe in everyone's life sometimes we eat too much then it becomes difficult to walk even we are not able to walk properly not able to sit not able to stand because we have eaten or we have done over eating so that is a biggest problem of everyone's life if we want to live a healthy life we must take care on about our food according to guru nanak sahib ji baba hor khana khushi khwar you can eat more and more even once you are full still you can eat but what will this food bring jit khade after over eating tan pediye more pain in our body more discomfort 
मन में है चल है विकार इवन आवर माइंड इज ऑल्सो गेटिंग करप्टेड बैड थॉट आर देयर वी वॉन्ट टू ले डाउन दे आर बिकमिंग मोर लेजी सो दिस काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम टू कम विद द फूड बट फूड इज ऑल्सो नीडेड फॉर आवर एनर्जी सो फूड ब्रिंग एनर्जी फूड ब्रिंग लेजीनेस सो देर इज नो प्रॉब्लम विद द फूड प्रॉब्लम इज हाउ वी ईट इट अकॉर्डिंग टू क्वान्टिटी अलप आहार सुलभ सी निंद्रा so just eat according to our hunger not too much even we can eat little less than our hunger that will keep us more active for the rest of the time so guru nanak sahib sahib is giving us a very good lesson teaching us how can our body stay healthy because for meditation for doing any other activities even religious activities our body should be healthy for sure by veer singh ji he wrote a book named gurmukh sikhya name of the book is gurmukh sikhya but once we read it then pai veer singh ji was more focused on our healthy lifestyle he wrote about eat well good diet healthy habits exercise walks can we imagine these kind of lines in a religious book by v singh ji saying after food you should go for the walk in the evening as well by v singh ji so definitely there is a connection of our body with our mind and thought this is what guru nanak sahib ji is telling us jit khad hai tan peedi hai man mein chala vikar overeating will bring more corruption to our mind will become more lazy so we must take care about it so food can bring energy food can bring laziness there is nothing wrong with the food wrong with this our choice how we are eating and what we are eating so health is very much needed science also understood it we are also much aware about it and everyone is taking care about health and wellness we are trying to maintain hygiene and then we are trying to get best and best medicines good hospitals earlier there was not so many hospitals were there there was just a one uncertified doctor we can say he was not certified but people used to go to him and what whichever medicine he used to give people used to take it but nowadays we are looking for certificates and every possible thing we are trying to maintain our health if we see now we have more medicines more doctors better hospitals but still we have more diseases more people are getting more ill and they are not well actually sickness is everywhere i was just discussing with the doctor last month i was having few words about health and wellness and the doctor told me nowadays what is happening if you are eating taking any medicine the same medicine gives you side effect as well it will cure your one illness but then it will give you another disease as well this is how the industry of medicine or business of medicine is growing so health and wellness government is taking care everyone is taking care we are working on it still there are so many problems so many diseases are increasing day by day earlier there was less diseases and small diseases kind of malaria but now we have big diseases huge and that are impacting our life so health and wellness we are trying to focus we are trying to work on it but still we are getting affected by it so we can cure by taking care of one thing on our food still we can get rid of maximum our diseases so once we fall into any kind of trap so now this rule 
is applicable in both mentally and physically. There is one body, but many diseases, one heart, many vicars, many vices. So quality of a doctor. There is everything in the Guru Granth Sahib. Gurbani talks to us about every topic. Rog Daru Dome Bujay Ta Vaid Sujan who is a wise physician. Rog means problem, disease, illness. The wise physician, a wise doctor is the one who is able to recognize our illness, our disease. If a doctor is not able to understand what is my problem, then definitely he can provide me a proper solution. Daru means medicine. So the two things which are basically required in any doctor, which is he should understand the disease and should able to understand the medicine as well. So what disease do we have and which medicine is required to cure? Which medicine is actually needed to give? Rog, Daru, Domebuja, the one who is able to recognize both of the things. So this is the first quality of a wise physician. Ta, Vaid, Sujan. So the one who have both of these qualities, the one who is able to understand, able to catch the exact problem, exact disease, and he knows which medicine do he need to give. Then he is a wise physician. So rog and daru, disease and medicine, both are needed for our physical health as well. And both are needed for our mentally health as well. So in outer world, we always try to find out the problem first. What is the disease? Until unless we are not able to catch the disease, we cannot give proper medicine or proper treatment. So disease we must aware about. So in our body, in our heart, in our mind, also there is a disease. What is that disease? Gurbani is telling us, how may rog manuk kau dina? There are countless diseases in the world and that also we can divide basically into three diseases. Vat, pit and kaf. Our body has the five elements, but these three elements are the main reason behind any and every kind of problem. Vat, Pit and cuff, which means a balance of air, balance of water, or balance of fire, garmi. So if we are eating too many hot things, it will affect our body. Pit, eating almonds and all those kind of things. Or if we are eating so many cold things, it will affect our body. So we need to maintain the balance. So all those problems, all those diseases can be divided into three parts, pit, vai, and cuff. Vat, pit, and cuff. So in the human, in the heart, we are also got corrupted by many vices. And But which one is the basic? Then Guru, Nan Guru Sahib is telling us, how may rog, manuk, the biggest problem in the mankind is disease of ego. Me, I am the one. This is the biggest disease. We cannot remain angry all the time. We will become little calm. We cannot stay into the last 24 by 7. But in the home, we can remain all the time. All the time we can say, yes, I am something. I am the power. Everything is because of me. So as we are taking care of health, our physically health, then we must take care about our mentally health as well. So physically health also, 
divided into just three basic parts. If we can take care about these things, then definitely we can stay healthy. Once the problem becomes when we are not able to balance it. So that another way, mind, in our mind, there is a rogue of how may, ego, I, me, myself. So this is a first thing. And then another quality. So that was the first quality of a doctor, the one who knows what is the problem, what is the disease, where is the illness, and which medicine is required. So firstly, we try to understand medicine. Firstly, we try to understand about the disease. So disease is how man. One another quality is needed in a doctor. And it's very, very important according to Guru Sahib. For example, if we are going to a doctor, if I'm not feeling well, I have cold, I went to a doctor and doctor is also not well. He may say, I'm also facing the same problem for la from last 20 days. I'm taking medicine properly, but still I'm not well. Then definitely we'll be in doubt because doctor himself is unwell, then it will not bring confidence within us. Another example, we go to a gym so that we can be healthy, fit. We can maintain our body. We went to a gym and we went, we met with our personal trainer there, but trainer is himself is unhealthy. He's also not fit. Will it give us some confidence? No. Because trainer himself is unhealthy, how will, be, how will he help me to do this? If a poor person is suggesting us some business ideas, a person who himself is one of the poorest person or a person who is poor, and if that person is giving us business ideas, we will not believe. That may work, but we will not believe because the one who is telling to us, he himself is a poor. Doctor is ill. Trainer, gym trainer is himself an unfit person. So the second quality of a good doctor, according to Gurbani, Rog gawai hai apna ta nanak vayad sadai. Now, this is a sloka of Guru Angad Sahib Ji. Now Guru Angad Sahib Ji is saying, the one who is actually fit, the one who don't have any kind of any disease, he should be known as a physician. So first quality is a little easy to find. But the next one, Rog Gawaihe Apana, we can see doctor also falls into the illness. It's possible. Because they are also having the human body. Sometimes, although they know, but sometimes there is a misbalance with the food or something else. So, Rog Gawaihe Apana Ta Nanak Vaid Sadai. Guru Anga Sahib Ji is saying, I will say the doctor, physician, Vaid to whom? The one who got rid of from his own disease. Now, the message is very clear. If we want rid from our from our own disease, we should look for a healthier person. And if we have the disease of ego, how may rog manuko dina, then we must look for a person, the one who don't have this problem, right? Then Gurbani says, attain a healthy life. Always. A healthy person is in danger. Yes. A healthy person is in danger. Let's understand. In a room, if there is a person who is ill and another person who is well, who is healthy, if both are living in the same room, eating together, spending their time together, and who do you think who is in danger? Is it possible 
that in the company of healthy person that a person who is falling into the illness he may able to cure or the one who is already healthy can fall into the illness who is into the more danger the one who is well the one who is healthy because falling into the illness is quite easy maintaining healthy life is quite difficult science this medicines medical science everyone is trying to attain healthy life but still we are getting more and more problems again and again we are falling into the trap so healthy person is in danger he must keep away he must try to maintain some distance from the one those who are in those who are ill so once we go out once we go out in the world then guru ji says jo jo dise so so rogi wherever i see everyone is ill not physically physically everyone is not ill some people percentage is very less there are fewer people those who are ill but most of us are healthy in a way but we want cureness of our mind of our thoughts as well how may rog manuk ko dina i have a disease in my thoughts in my mind within myself as well that also i want to cure so for that i need a healthy person but outside i can see everyone is falling into the illness jo jo this hai so so rogi but i need the one who is without any disease and who is that rog rahat mera satguru chuk the one who is far from the calm krodh lobh mo ahankar these voices cannot touch him he is safe from all these voices he is the one who can save me because the one who is able to get rid or to the one these all things cannot touch these voices cannot touch he is the one who can save me otherwise it's not possible because rog gawahe apna ta nanak vaid sadaye the one who did not fall into the illness of kaam krodh lobh mo ahankar he is the one who can save me but in this world guru ji is saying jo jo this hai so so rogi everyone is rogi everyone is falling into different kind of diseases everyone is attached with ego so i want the one who is free from this ego rog rahat mera sat gur jogi so then problem we are able to identify now we need the medicine in our daily life also we need a medicine to cure here also firstly we try to understand the rog the disease that we have of ego and entire world is facing the same problem facing the same disease sansar rogi entire world is rogi all are sick naam daru mail lage sach bina now there is a medicine entire world is rogi entire world is sick but there is a medicine of naam that can be attained by many things सर्व रोग का औखद नाम संसार रोगी नाम दार सो वेन एवर वी आर एबल टू मेडिटेट ऑन द नेम ऑफ द लॉर्ड रिसाइड द नेम ऑफ द लॉर्ड देन दिस इज अ मेडिसिन एंड दिस मेडिसिन वी कैन गेट बाय डिफरेंट थिंग्स एज गुरु जी से दुख दारु सुख रोग पया sometimes pain is also a medicine because in the pain in the suffering in the problems we are able to remember the lord 
So whenever we are remembering the Lord, whenever we are reciting the Lord, then it is Nam Daru. This is a real medicine. So Sansar Rogi, entire world is Rogi, Nam Daru, Nam is a medicine, Mal Lagya Sach Bina, until unless we don't recite the name of the Lord. And this is comes into all other religious activities as well. If we are performing Seva, reciting the name, that is also a Nam. Even if we don't able to remember or not able to recite all Panjabaniya, if one is saying Vaheguru Vaheguru, he is reciting the name. But then, one another thing. Once we get the medicine from a doctor, it's not really possible that we can get cure. We need to take care of few things, Pai Gurdas is telling us. Puchat hai bait, khad okad na sanjam se, kaise mitai rog sukh sahaj samaj. If we know about our disease, our problem, our illness, and then if we are able to get proper medicine as well, but there are some precautions, if we are not taking care of those things, still, we will remain rogues. Still, we are facing those problems. Still, ego is there. Because, Pucha to have bad, we inquired from a doctor, Khaad Akad na Sanjama sa. Sanjama means precautions. Akad means medicine. So, we did not take care of medicines while eating, while taking medicine, we did not take care of precautions, actually. So, kaise mita rog, sukh sahaj samaye, disease will not go. Again, we will remain, we, live, we need to live with diseases, Pai Gurdash is also saying. So, we need to know about our disease, then medicine, then we need to eat it, and then we need to take care of precautions. So, Naam Daru, so Naam is a medicine. Haume is a rogue. So, two different things. One is how, one is Hari. One is me, one is you. So, problem is me and solution is you. If we go to a doctor and if we are bow down, going down to a doctor, respecting him a lot, but not eating medicine, there is no use of it. We are going to Gurdwara, we bow down, matha take, we do parikarma, we do some seva, we do recite the name of the Lord. But while reciting the name of the Lord, again ego arises. We start saying, I am the one who is reciting the name of the Lord. How oh, ego is again there. And it's really we need to take care about it. How may rog manukotiya? So how may me myself? So we need to take care about this while reciting the name of the Lord, especially. This is called as a Sato Gun as well. Whenever we are doing religious activities, again ego arises very softly. We don't realize even. If we walk up early in the morning, if others are looking full to us, some people do say, if I wake up early in the morning, I recite the name of the Lord, I do Panjabaniya, but you don't do it. What we are doing? Ego is there again. So precaution is needed. Always say you, not me. Me is a problem. Jab hum hote, tab tu na. So what do we need to do? Precaution. Only respect will not work. Only matha take will not work. Only bow down will not work. Only coming and doing seva, performing seva, 
cleaning your utensils, cleaning the shoes, listening to the lectures, katha, kirtan, or performing or doing part. Still, we need to take care of me, how my rogue. This is a rogue of our mind. So, jo gur kahe soi pal mitha man ki mat tyag. Leave your mind. Just say whatever God is doing that is good for me. I'm not doing anything. Everything is happening by the grace of God, by his wish. That's Kabirji also helps us to understand this concept. Kabir, mera mujh meh kich nahi. I don't have anything. Jo kich hai, so tera. Whatever is there, everything is yours. If I am able to perform seva with this body, this body is given by you. If I am able to listen lecture, katha or kirtan, these ears are given by you. If I am able to take darshan, of Sad Sangat, eyes are given by you. If you would made me blind, I could not able to see the Sad Sangat. If you would not give me the hands, I would not able to perform any seva. So Kabir Mera Mujme Kichnahi. I don't have anything. Nothing belongs to me. Jo kich hai so tera. If I'm able to perform something with the help of this body. This body is given by you. Mind is given by you. The problem is me. It just reminded me a short story. In a village, once upon a time, in a village, all were taking water from a well. And a dog died. Someone threw that died dog into the well. Then what happened? People were bringing buckets of pocket, buckets of water from that well and water was so dirty, there was smell there, there was, it was not possible to drink. Then they realized someone has thrown a dead dog inside. An old person came and said, we must take at least 100 buckets of water from this well out. Then we'll be able to get clean water. It's possible to get, but at least 100 buckets of water, we need to bring it out. Everyone agreed with his point. They started working. They were bringing bucket of water again and again. So 100 buckets of water, they could be able to bring it out and again, the water was smelly, dirty. It was not possible to drink. It was, they were able to see a little bit of blood there. The more days they were take, taking, it was becoming worse and worse. It was becoming so hard to stand near the well. Then another person came and he said, 100 buckets will not work. I think you must bring 200 buckets then definitely you will be able to get clean water without any kind of any smell or blood or anything else. Everyone agreed again. They did the same, but nothing happened. Situation became more worst. Now, it was the biggest problem. Then we went to a wise person. They said, just come and help us. We have done it all, more than 300 buckets of water. Still, water is dirty, smelly, we cannot stand near the well. What to do now? He asked a simple question. Did you try to bring out that de de dead dog? Where is the body of that dead dog? They said inside the well. They said then keep it out. Bring the body of the dog first, then take few waters of what a few buckets of water that will help. So the moment they bring that body of that dog outside the well, 
after a few minutes they could able to stand near the well and then they bring few buckets of water and they could able to get clean water so problem was with dark not with the water problem is eco not anything else all things are getting dirty because of our ego yes all things although we are doing religious activities but our ego arises very softly smoothly we don't realize it is just like we are making that clean water dirty then people may say religious people are doing like this how can they do it so this is how the problem begins ego is the biggest problem we need to take care of this while doing especially while doing religious activities that is very much needed and it's so soft so sharp even we don't realize when this ego arises people start praising us we start feeling with ego sometimes it's good to give encouragement it's give good to give some motivation it's good to praise as well so that we can motivate another person to do some more good activities but sometimes if we forgot everything i am able to do by the grace of god and ego arises then the problem begins we need to take care jah baisa vah bas sah paaye jah pe jah teh chao whatever you are doing my lord everything is good so ego is a precaution while doing every and any activity if we can take care about it then definitely it's possible by the help of the one who is disease free rog rahat mera satguru chuki but we need to follow the path if we want to be one with that power if we want to get rid of our disease of ego we need to surrender ourselves we need to say kabir mera mujh mein kuch nahi but ego will say my money my family my wealth my reputation my bank balance my good qualities my talent my art but the moment we leave our ego we will say everything is grace of god if i am able to do something good by the grace of god if i am able to speak something good god gave me these thoughts so once we are able to surrender then definitely which is possible to attain that situation so today we discussed about let's have a just quick recap again eat wisely stay healthy if you want to stay healthy every medicine or most of the medicines do have the side effects so they just bring us to the another disease so the one of the best thing as guru nanak sahib ji is telling us eat wisely and stay healthy don't eat too much and don't take good health for granted yes it's grace of god if we are healthy so don't take it for granted take care of our good health take care of our good thoughts take care of our good deeds so we must try to stay healthy physically and mentally as well and the wise physician is the one who understand both disease and the medicine and the one who is without any disease those the one who is able to cure himself so then we need to be one we need to go to that physician that physician is mera satguru jogi but while eating medicines nam daru we must to take care about precautions as well we must try to maintain some gap with the ego and definitely we cannot do it by our own because if i'm saying i can do it again this is a problem i can do it i is again a problem by the grace of god we all must try to be disease free and live healthy and happy life so may god bless us all so that we all can attain to this situation this position by the one who is disease free so now i request 
to all of you if you have any thoughts something in your mind any feedback or suggestion don't feel shy kindly contribute if 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 you are able to remind any story related to it or any gurbani panktiyas so definitely kindly contribute so that we all can understand and can be be the one with the disease free and we are we can fight with our disease of ego while explaining definitely there are few things that we missed so now we'll try to understand all of us so that we can have some more understanding so don't be shy don't feel shy kindly contribute in your words now i'm giving you the option you can unmute yourself so turn over the floor to you entire sangat wahiguru ji ka khalsa wahiguru ji ki fateh haan ji Hanji, anyone who would like to contribute? Hanji Pradeep ji, you are unmuted. Hanji, Vai Guruji ka khalsa, Vai Guruji ka fatih sirindar ji. Vai Guruji ka khalsa, Vai Guruji ka fatih ji. So I joined the late, bit late, but whatever I learn is very. very good lesson today otherwise i will miss i am so grateful i am blessed to the god i joined the satanga today is the like yes no you tell the story is the god one is real it touch my heart is because we know our ego we have to clear our ego from inside like yes no you say uh, so so this is so so rogi jo jo this is so so rogi rog rahat mera satgur jogi so so we have to pray to our god so we have to be clean ourselves then we have to pray to our god like the most is the things is our ego like we say we say sometime health is well if our health is good we listen good we do good we can do better than that so we have to take care of our health how can we take care of a good health is we have to pray our god we have to remember our god but we cannot say we do like mera mujh mein kuch nahi jo kuch hai so tera even we cannot uh, touch anything without his permission so like maybe he is the one who give us the permission so we do the entire sangha today we listen the lesson today so i am so grateful so the way you explain Swindar ji, I am so touched. You are really very nicely explained. So very nicely lesson today. Further, I say, if I miss, I think this is this is a God is great today is with me. So thank you very much. It's a very good ka khalsa. Very good ji ke fatay. Thank you very much for your lovely and very kind words. It's just blessing of your sangat and grace of Vai Guru ji. Asse tarah seva lande ran. So thank you very much for your contribution. Thank you. Okay. and ji any other sangat member who would like to contribute so don't be shy anyone or everyone can unmute han ji han ji hardeep ji you are unmuted would you like to share something han ji hardeep ji ka khalsa vaheguru ji ki fateh vaheguru ji ka khalsa vaheguru ji ki fateh ji bani is telling us of course to lead a healthy life so to lead a healthy life we all know we eat need to eat and drink the correct things not to overeat certain things like too much salt sugar and so on which are detrimental to our health other than that i think what bani is telling us what rog is 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 a kind of disease but not necessary physical disease but something which is inside us for what we need a cure for it so for a cure when you have a physical disease we go and look for a cure which is mostly we go to a doctor and get dwai and so on but other things which we need to look inside us i think to find the cure so some of the things we have to de- deal with that disease ourselves like home as you say so we deal with that ourselves we must stop saying i too much we do that most of the time 
So I find that Guruji is telling us of these diseases of our mind, of our behavior, and that we should correct it. Maybe with Nam, why Guru Nal Judo? With Nam, also try to be humble. And this is how I think Guruji wants us to deal with this rogue in this world. Thank you, Ji. Thank you very much for your contribution and sharing your point of view, Haldeep Ji. Anji, any other Sangat member who wants to share something? Anji? Anji Kuldeep Ji? Anji Kuldeep Ji, you are unmuted. Would you like to share something? Well, I am just at a loss. My mind is wandering. I really can't focus well. But uh, what comes to my mind is that uh, you know it's so amazing that Gurbani tells us uh, aspects of life from every angle. Physical angle, mental angle, you know, our the way we think from that angle. Like earlier on, you were saying, talk, talking about physical disease, you know, the first uh, verse you quoted Baba, Hor Khana Kushi Khwar, Jit Khade Tan Piriye, Man Me Chale I find that this phrase has is a very deep uh, resounding phrase. We, we have to control our food. Eat the correct food, eat the correct amount. You know, it hurts our mind, it damages our body. So that kind of food is useless. And then we talked about mental aspect of health. Well, Gurbani is full of it. You know, how may dhira garoga hai, daru bhi esma hai. So, it is very interesting. Again and again and again, Gurbani is telling us that this dhira garoga is very dangerous for us. It leads us into all kinds of problems. And uh, yet, if we can manage it, we can understand it, we can control it, it will help us a lot. So, it is every human being's disease, actually. This was ego, me, how me, mera, na ho. You know, otherwise, all of us are very uh, susceptible to this kind of disease. So the word seems to revolve around ego, 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 ego. Take home message is ego. Be careful of our ego. Be careful of our uh, selfish tendencies because this is going to lead us into ill health. And uh, it creates, you know, it has got a lot of implications. Because of ego, man is trapped. Because of ego, he gets into, he, he does cheating. Because of ego, he robs. Because of ego, he shows off. And everything all revolves around of ego. And if, it's just that one Wahe Guru who is devoid of this ego. And if we remove ego from our hearts and let Wahe Guru reside in our hearts, we will have a very healthy mind. And this in effect can hopefully give us a healthy body as well. Uh, these are my few takeaway things from today's lecture. I think it's a constant reminder that uh, you know, be wary, be mindful, be careful of our ego, which is very, very uh, subtle. It attacks us subtly. It attacks us surely. It attacks us definitely. It damages us for sure. So let's try to be humble, let's bring humility in our life 
and try to manage our ego problem. Thank you very much, Kuldeepji, for sharing your valuable feedback and your point of view with all of us. So really thankful to you. Anji, Gurmiji, you are unmute. Would you like to share something? Oh yeah, no, I was I was unmuted. Uh, but yeah. Um, um no, it, this is my first time actually um uh, attending this and hearing this. Uh, I hope to attend many more of this. I mean, although I can read and write Gurmaki, um I think most of us don't really get the essence of the meaning in um in all the words that we read in Guru Granth Sahib. So um, I think this is a good first step that I'm taking and I hope to connect more with the essence of Sikhism. Yeah. Thank you, very, thank you very much for joining and we are also hoping to see you in our upcoming lectures as well. And you may share your feedback, suggestions, so anything that comes to your mind. So feel free to share. So thank you very much for your contribution and for joining us. Good meet you. Okay, Changaji. Okay, Changaji. Hanji, Gurmiji, uh, you are also unmuted. Would you like to share something? Guruji ka ka asa wai ji ke fateh master ji. Guruji ke fateh ji. Yes, Sangat. Okay, uh, when we talk about uh, this topic about healthy and wellness, I think it's a balance of healthy eating and mentally balanced. <laughs> Both must be in sync with each other. Okay, no. now if your mind is all the time thinking about stressed out with, uh, you know, um, getting rich, being, you know, like not enough, in the place of not enough, always seeking material needs okay endlessly and you don't even step back and tell yourself i think i have enough and i should at least take a breather in the sense but take a break from this and maybe think about how i can you know my mind rest and be connected with you know uh why guru so that i get some spiritual also as well not the material itself but material uh, spiritually also so this thing about us getting our mind to work in this way is a real challenge and what we get stress because we can't decide so we are always you know striving to do better getting more and there's never enough all right so when we say that uh, about our healthy eating it affects what we think how we feel mentally because when i am stressed with work and all that, I eat more. <laughs> so there's a tendency that because of your mental state, you tend to overeat, not healthy food. You just eat whatever you get in your hand or whatever tempts you, you just go for it. So it is your mind is not in a stable mind or a stable state to actually make the right decision. And this actually leads you to have a kind of a health unhealthy body. So I think the mental condition of your mind is the first thing that we have to address, like you said, you know, the, you know, the ego part. You know why? Because sometimes we are so into like, I can do better uh, than this person. I can do better than that person. I think I should achieve more. So that greed and the need to be above others is the one that actually make our mind unstable in the not in sync with, our guru's way, because our guru always tells us humility is very important. Being humble is so important. It's okay if my neighbor is doing better. He has a bigger car. You know, I'm happy with what I have. I'm satisfied. I'm in a good place. And my guru has given me so much I'm grateful for. I've got actually nothing more to ask for. I mean, of course, I'll try to do better than I am in work, working hard to get results and all that, but not to uh, satisfy my ego in the sense, to win somebody else, to be above others and all that, you know? So I think that part of the mental state of challenge that we have to actually balance and weigh 
to do it, I feel that, like you said, taking the naam and remembering my guru and telling the ourselves that end of the day is he is the one who decides. Because sometimes you work very hard. You never get everything you want in life. Who decides that? Why guru? If he wants to give it to you, you have worked hard, you deserve it, he'll give it to you at the right time, at the right place, and at the right moment. You know? Exactly. So I think this part, I think, is a challenge. And when you talk about being healthy, like I said, the health will come only after our mind is healthy enough, balanced enough to con our cravings for food, eating right, you know, and having a, a balanced diet and all that. So that is something we have to address first before we can think about, you know, exercising all the time, but our mind is thinking of all those thoughts. And then after exercising, you lose a bit of weight. Then after you get these thoughts coming in, and then there you go again, you start binging, start eating more than you are supposed to eat, you know, and you go back to square one and put on weight again. So the cycle will continue. So I feel, so this part, I think is a real challenge, but with Vai Guru's grace and, you know, his blessing, if we are going to go on this path, I think it makes us more satisfied with what we have. And with that, we we'll start to take one step back, reflect, and think, is this worth it? Will it compromise my health? You know, am I heading for the right, uh, to the right direction? I think all this will come into place with just being able to focus that Vai Guru is there, if I think I deserve it and I am doing the right thing, not hurting others, not competing with others mm -hmm. in the sense of, you know, getting my pride up, my ego up, mm -hmm. I think I'm in the right direction. So with White Guru Grace, I hope to, <laughs> with his blessings, be able to, you know, uh, control my eating habit. <laughs> so that was the start only after my mind is more balanced and I have I'm in sync with my guru's way of life to see, live simply and humbly. So that's my take for today's lesson. Yes. Bye Guruji Ka Khalsa, Bhai Guruji Ki Fateh. Sir, bhai Guruji Ki Fateh. Thank you very much, Karmichi, for taking your time and sharing your valuable thoughts with all of us. So definitely you contributed. Thank you very much, Karmichi. Uh, yes, Anita ji also dropped a message. Jis khasam na avi chet rogi se gane. Jis khasam na avi chet so kharo ahankariya. Yes, the one who is not reciting, he is a rogi. Jis khasam na avi chet rogi se gane. Anita ji shared. So thank you very much for your contribution, Anita ji. Hanji Tanwanchi, you are unmuted. Yes, it is good. Uh, Hardyal ji is going oh. to say something. Yes, yes, I just want to contribute a little bit to the our sum of knowledge. Yes, now, yes. when we were talking about diseases, you know, the simple diseases we have already understood and cured. Now, why they keep on new ones keep on coming up yes. uh, is because of because as we as the, as our knowledge expands, we go deeper and deeper and deeper, and now we are talking about molecular diseases, things like diabetes and stuff like that, and they're finding a cure for that. Of course, insulin and what we have already sorted that out. Then we go further to the degenerative diseases like, uh, you know, uh, cancer, uh, you know, neoplastic disease or heart disease or stroke and stuff like that. You know, yes. and then. Those are, you see, it looks like everything is multiplying. The more you go, and go into it, the further it becomes. In a way, it is good because we have got rid of the common ones and now we are going for the very rare ones and, and, and also understanding, better understanding of it. And uh, in all of that, of course, um, our understanding of science uh, and um, pathology is very important and to the health of the person. So that's all I wanted to say. Thank you. Thank you very much for your contribution, Adalji. It's very valuable for all of us to understanding a little bit more about the reason behind diseases and how it is getting multiplied again and again. So thank you very much for your contribution, Ji. Okay. Any other Sangat member who wants to contribute or any feedback or suggestions, Ji? Okay, so request you all. Ahanji Amarji Ji, you are unmuted. Yes. Oh, 
and first of all badhaiyan saryan nu for the new sangran man obadan bilkul ji tanu badhaiyan ji master ji your topics are always so relevant thank you so much it's so interesting you made the topic so interesting as well uh i what i can understand is first of all what is what is uh, what is a disease i mean just just a little take from what i can come uh what is poison anything beyond what we need is poison for example power can be poison as well if it gets excessive we want to go higher and higher laziness can also be power can also be uh disease because it goes lower and lower food ego ambition fear also can be can also be poison anger and anything that's uh, that we can think of it all can lead to poison so anything excessive is poison for example if i'm riding a motorbike or bicycle and i turn a bank too much i obviously will fall off so you know that too again is excessive so anything more that we we, we should know how we should know our limit what you think what we think we need and try to maintain that and for example i was like anyway this is not my i'm not a health freak so but i know people who who go to gym who run marathon who who keep fit and i heard from them is they go extra mile to it i mean let's say today i run 10 km tomorrow they will run 11 and slowly they will start increasing increasing and it's in a slow pace they increase so the more you increase the better you become i mean in the same way like just now pandi mentioned uh home dirag roge daru bhi isma hai so i mean there's a reason why this ego in us so we must just understand that and push us up for them only we can understand it better so that will push us to our limit as well rather than just sit back and you know hope things to work out the way it should work but sometimes a pain comes to us for a specific reasons i mean it's true that's what what we did jo mai kiya so mai paya i mean that's that's that, that's what guru sahib says as well so but jo so if i eat excessively it's also my fault right so be responsible with ourselves and hopefully we can overcome oh, and and another thing yeah, about we mentioned about um i i me me and all that yeah in reras i think guru sahib reminds us man ek na chitas mur mana har bisra tere gun galiya i mean we always say i i of course this is where we lose our virtues na actually eventually everything is guru sahib is him you know tu tu karta tu hua mujh mein raha na hu that's basically that's why we need to go into but it's so difficult but hopefully we together i we, we we can become better every day as they come and they go they goes by i think we become better i mean that's what another day is all about thank you very much master ji and sorry another thing even the sun doesn't give up it comes up every morning <laughs> so <laughs> we we so continue in that nature way try to keep on improving ourselves thank you very much everybody thank you master ji thank you very much amar ji ji Oh, I could see Kalsa. I could see Kifate. Very beautifully, you added a couple of points, and uh, by the end, you said yes. We must take motivation from sun is coming every day. We must try, keep trying. Definitely, we'll get success. So, yes, thank you very much for sharing multiple your yeah, valuable thoughts, Amar Ji. Thank you. And Jiranjit Ji also shared, "Man jeeta hai jag jeet." Yes, Kurban is teaching us. We must work on it. So thank you very much for your contribution Rajesh ji. Han ji any other sangat member who wants to share something ji? Okay so now request you all uh, kindly unmute yourself so that we all can say gur fateh together and one more thing i would like to say on the 21st of this month we have a special program in, on this coming sunday sunday evening 4:30 to 5:30 special samvad program on pehla prakash shri guru granth sahib we will try to understand about the background as well 
how it happened and what was the reason behind it and a lot of other questions that we have received from the Sangat members that we will ask from other Gyanijis. One Gyaniji is with us, going to be with us of Gyani Gurdeep Singh Ganivji from Vadda Gurdwara and another is Pavitra Pal Singh Ji. So if you have any questions about Pahla Prakash Guru Granth Sahib Ji, you can send me an email or WhatsApp me. We can oh. clear those questions in our upcoming Sambad program, Sunday evening 4.30 to 5.30. So now I request you all kindly unmute yourselves so that we all can say Gur Fateh together. Thank you everyone for joining, giving your precious time. Sare Pyar Nalakhana Ji, Vahe Guru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vahe Guru Ji Ka Fateh Ji. Thank you. Thank you very much.